faith. That is our justification before God. And justification is a legal term. It just means to be declared right. That's why it's interwoven in your Bibles with righteousness from God. That's what it means to be declared righteous. The opposite of justification is condemnation. That is to be declared guilty, to be condemned. Now, Paul makes this understanding between justification and condemnation clear in passages like Romans 8, It is God who justifies who is to condemn. That is, if you are justified, you face no condemnation. So with this language, we are in the imagery of a courtroom. And both justification and condemnation are judicial pronouncements. So to say God justifies, what it means is that God's judgment from the final day, that great day, is as it were being brought backward into the present moment and declared now to all who are in Jesus. You are righteous. So to justify is to declare righteous. So that really any punishment or mistreatment or condemnation would actually be unjust impossible to condemn those who have been declared righteous. That's a miscarriage of justice. And it's clear that this is the Bible's meaning from passages like Romans 4, 5, when God says, he is him who justifies the ungodly. That is, those who are sinners are declared just. Those who are ungodly are declared to be righteous by the judge. And remarkably, this declaration of righteousness in Christ comes from God by faith, and by faith, what do we add? Alone. By faith in Christ. 